and this is the ridge vent and the caps the ridge caps and right here is where the opening that is cut into the attic space so that the heat can come out of the attic and vent out of this vent right here so down here we've got the soffit which this is open soffit so the air can come up into the attic space and out the top. If you don't have soffit, what you can use instead is an inflow vent where the air comes in right here. And what we would do is we would cut a slit into your roof, put the vent over it, the slit would run all the way down, put the vent on it, put shingles over top of this so you wouldn't actually see it, it would look just like this. And then that way, the air can come in and go out the top. So on the other side of this vented soffit, you've got the insulation in your attic and then you have a baffle. And this baffle is very important because it allows the air that's coming through the soffit to still get in there and go all the way up into your attic space. If you don't have the baffle, then all the air is just going to get trapped right in that spot. So you need to make sure you have baffles in your attic, make sure it's vented if that's the type of ventilation system that you have. And I opened up the roof in order to secure my anchor and this opening goes to the attic space and I can feel hot air coming out of that. When I put my hand over top of it, I can feel hot air pushing through. And the reason is there's a lot of hot air trapped in there due to the fact that the roof isn't venting. So you see there's no ridge vent, all I had was caps. And at the bottom, there's vents allowing air into the attic space, but it has nowhere to escape. That's where ridge vent comes in. If ridge vent was here, the hot air would be able to get out. And you would want ridge vent the entire length of this ridge, depending on the size of your attic. What ends up happening is your shingles age quicker. So these shingles aren't even that old, but yet they're starting to fall apart and you can go like that and granules just come off really easy which is one of the signs that your roof is aging due to poor ventilation. Hey guys, I want to show you something that's really common with soffit and unfortunately it's a problem. So take a look at this. Right here we have soffit and notice how this is vented because it's got the holes in it and it's there's sections of this all the way down the whole way. But when you go up top, look what happens. There's wood covering everything which means that soffit's not actually open they just put it there for looks or they didn't know what they were doing either way air's not getting up in here and it's not going to the ridge like it's supposed to so in that situation with the soffit vent not actually venting there's a few options one is you can drill holes in the plywood to create that airflow if you need it Turns out on this house, they have a different ventilation system. They have gable vents on their house. So they actually don't need the soffit vents. So if we were to open that up, it would be a mixed system. And you don't want a mixed system. You either need ridge vent to soffit vent, soffit vent to ridge vent, or you want gable vents or the other options that are out there. But you don't want to mix the systems.